Let's take a look at how to get General MIDI running in DOSBox. Uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, download this program. Uh, this is the one I use called CoolSoft Virtual MIDI Synth. Uh, I've already downloaded it here. Uh, you're going to want to run and install that. I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to install it again. But uh, it installs just like any other piece of software. Next thing you're going to want to do is download some uh, sound fonts. Sound fonts are just like what their name implies. Musicians can create instruments and put them together, uh, sort of like the, a font that you would think of as letters and numbers, but with uh, MIDI instruments. Um, so you download a few of those. I've already got a few. Um, you can find those all over the internet. They're, they're everywhere. And it's really up to you on which ones you think uh, sound good, pretty much. There are some that are close to Roland um, general MIDI devices, and there's some that are completely different. Uh, it's completely up to you. So basically we're going to go to our apps here down to CoolSoft Virtual MIDI Synth and uh, configure Virtual MIDI Synth. Um, here is the window. Uh, you add your sound fonts on this first tab. Just click the plus and you, I've got a folder on my hard drive called MIDI. Um, I've already downloaded an extra one here. Just uh, click the sound font and open it and it will add it to it. Now it's a little strange, it's got both of those checked, but it only uses the top one for whatever reason. Um, I'm not sure why you would even bother uh, having both checked, but whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll just uncheck that. But it's kind of cool because you can load up a whole bunch of them and uh, change them on the fly. Uh, I'll just hit apply and then OK. Um, next, when you go into DOSBox, you're going to... There's a couple of commands that you need to know. Uh, first is this mixer command. If you type in mixer forward slash list MIDI, what you get is a list of all your MIDI uh, devices, uh, virtual or otherwise. And it also applies a number to them, and the numbers are what's important and why you need to know this command so you know what number the CoolSoft virtual MIDI is. And we see here that it's number zero. So the next command is MIDI config and you're going to type space zero because we know that the cool soft virtual MIDI synth is zero. So MIDI config space zero. Ultimate famously has a very good general MIDI soundtrack. So let's take a look at it and see if this worked. All right, that's it. Uh, please like and subscribe. If you're into old PC games, come check us out on Facebook, Big Box PC Game Collectors uh, Facebook group. Uh, thanks for watching.